arrived late yesterday, set up camp, cooked a bunch of beautiful veggies on the fire, and now we're early to the water, and we're hopefully gonna catch some trout. Let's get our lines wet. Carry you away. We're not having much luck at this spot, so I think we're gonna jump back in the infinity, and I'm gonna take the guys to a secret spot of mine where I know there's some trout to be caught. Nice cast. Let's go. I think we've got a couple more casts in us and then we might call it a day. Head to the trout farm, get a nice rainbow trout and then cook that bad boy in the fire. After a long day fishing and driving and exploring and kind of getting to know Jindabyne, we are setting up for a feast using the rainbow trout that we caught. We have loads of veggies, we're gonna treat with a bit of love. Brussels sprouts happening here, so loaded with butter, garlic, salt, pepper. We're gonna have some confit, potatoes, some garlic, some chili. We're gonna hang some beetroot from the fire, so that's gonna be kind of smoked and cooked nice and slow. And then, you know, the trout will be the hero of the dish. So what we're doing is we're using rock salt and pink salt and we're filling it up with citrus, mixing it together with a bit of egg white and then that's basically going to crust our trout so that it keeps in all of the moisture and makes it a really, really nice salty flavour. to snow jindabyne. Trout fishing, cruising around, exploring the mountains. Finished off cooking the freshest rainbow trout you'll ever eat over fire, salt crusted. This is how road trips are meant to be done. Make sure you check us out next episode, cooking Canberra truffles in the snow. Perfect scrambled eggs. It's time for you to go because we're going to eat. Yew.